What's up guys, back with an amazing video. As you guys can see in this video, I'm looking at some PlayStation 2 games, I'm also looking at a Wii game and a couple other things here in this electronic area. But, when I went to go to checkout, they had this little tote. Once I got to the register, they had a tote, this little tote bag, and I was just like, oh, that has some games in there. How much are they? She's like, well, it's the same price as the other games that you saw on the wall, which you guys seen in the video, $1.99. So I got the games that I got from the wall, and then I also got every single cartridge game there, even if it doesn't work, or didn't work, or you know, whatever, I don't care. I'm gonna pay $1.99 for these cartridges, and that's an amazing deal. No matter who you are, no matter where you're from, $1.99 for these games that I'm about to show you. I just stole these, essentially. What an amazing deal. So before I wanted to record and then to show you guys right away, um, but I also like to record what I add to my collection, mainly. So I wanted to test them out, make sure they work, and then show you guys so then we can add it to the collection. So here's the receipt right here. I paid for 18 games total for $1.99. All right, we're not gonna start off strong, but we got golf for the NES. I'm assuming somebody was trying to sell them or bought them for a low price a long time ago for only a buck, but I only paid $1.99 for this game. I'm sure it goes for more than that. It works. I already have this in the collection, but it's cool to add a second one. We got the Mario Bros. Duck Hunt combo. Now, I do have great memories of playing this and this on the NES. Um, so glad to add it to the collection. I'm just, I'm still in disbelief that I paid only $1.99 for all of these amazing games. Up next, we have Silent Service. Now, I'm not sure what this game is really about. Um, I just put it in, made sure it worked for like a few minutes. Um, kind of looks like a battleship, submarine type game. Rad Racer added into the collection. Like I said, this person must have bought it from a yard sale or was trying to sell them. If they're trying to sell them for that, I'm sure if people went to that yard sale, they would have bought that. But I'm assuming that they probably bought these from a yard sale and then they donated to them to Goodwill once they were done with them. But Rad Racer added to the collection. So nothing too crazy yet, but that's all we got for the NES. Not bad, but we got this right here. We got Mario Kart, Super Mario Kart for the NES with the little cover. This game works perfect. I had my uh, brother come on over and we played this game together. What a fun time that was and what a great game to add it to the collection. It's a little dirty. Killer Instinct. It works. Great game. I'm not sure if I'm gonna pronounce this right, but Act Razors, is that how you pronounce it? Not sure. The game works, but this is pretty filthy. We got Super Play Action Football, Super Mario World. How did this game end up at a Goodwill and then be sold for $1.99? I'm just blown away. I'm surprised that this stuff didn't go to the eBay auction site. Yeah, a lot of these games have to be cleaned up, yeah. But who cares? Just clean it up. I'm gonna do that myself, I'm gonna clean them up. I should've cleaned them up before the video, but I wanted to show you guys the condition that I bought them in. Next up, we got Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat, this game, I don't even know how long I've played this. This game is just so freaking addicting. Just addicting. And yeah, we have some stupid stickers on things and whatnot, but it's a game nonetheless. Super Star Wars, NES, added to the collection. What a great addition to add to the collection. 
Now, at first, when I first saw this, I thought it was the same one that I got from the mystery bags, but that was Super Return of the Jedi, not this. So, now I got two Star Wars games to play on my Super Nintendo while my games sit in Florida in storage until I do get the next place to move to. I cannot wait to have that game room, guys. Super NBA Basketball. I'm not quite sure why Nintendo added Super in front of everything that was on the Super Nintendo. Sometimes it can get really repetitive, kind of like on the Wii U and the Wii, and they had like this Wii, this Wii U. And it's like, oh, it's just weird to me. And the last cartridge game that I'm gonna show you guys today is Street Fighters 2. Street Fighters 2. It's not my favorite Street Fighters game, but it's still a great game nonetheless. Now, if you guys are wondering what the other games were, that's gonna be in my video at the end of the month, showing you guys all the game pickups that I got that aren't themed based. I wanted to theme this video off, cartridge games bought at Goodwill for only $1.99. Thanks again to Goodwill for adding these amazing games to the collection. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Don't forget to check out my other videos while you're at it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, thanks for watching.